Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Dennis here again with Randy and something that we've done since we were wee lads. Me and food, Randy, we go way back. Way back. Yeah. We like to eat. We like to eat. I've I've not gone most days without it. It just seems like something I'm getting used to. And I I think the variety of of restaurants in the village is expanding, don't you? Yeah. yeah, I have this conversation really more often than I care to because I am not a foodie. So Mm -hmm. full disclosure, if you're looking for somebody to be a food critic and somebody to go, oh, well, I would never eat like a chain restaurant. Okay, well, I'm not that guy. Yeah, we're both not that guy. There's there's. There's plenty of chain restaurants that I kind of like. So, mm-hmm. um, but people ask me about the village and well, like, what is there to eat? And you see this, you see it in social media. I see these ninnies just like, you know, well, we need this, we need that. And I'm like, I mean, how often do you people, I mean, <laughs> oh, are, y'all eat, are, y'all, are y'all eating every meal out? I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. No, the restaurants inside the village, the restaurants just outside the village. I, I don't know. I'm perfectly well, happy. What, what what kind of what kind of chains would you are you happy with? What would do you? Well, I mean, I'm talking the stereotypical, you know, the Texas Roadhouse, the Chili's, the those things that that the 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 foodie crowd would turn their nose up at. And I'm well, like, I kind of I kind of like them both. Yeah, they, I do too. They're probably going to turn their nose up at a lot of things in the village. But uh, I'm thinking you obviously <clears throat> let's start at the at the furthest reaches. We have uh, uh, Melinda's, which is our friends, and uh, the fine folks at uh, what's the barbecue? Uh, now you're going to start. Now you're going to start naming stuff, and we're going to leave somebody out. And oh, we're we are. Make somebody mad. Watch this. We Pitts. apologize in advance. Yeah, Pitts bar- Pitts, advance. Pitts Pitts Barbecue. Well, Pitts Barbecue they shut down for the winter because they have Correct. an outside location. Yep. But yep. uh, Melinda's, which this is the here, I tell you what, let's do the inside tips and trips about about dining that we know. Okay, the inside tip. Well, or is, even if you just talk about the genre, if you just talk about the food stuff, and I'm happy. Listen, I'm happy to put a list in here. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to no, leave no, anybody no. out. But so, is what golf course doesn't have a restaurant? Well, Magellan doesn't really have a restaurant. They have kind of a snack bar type thing. Okay. But Do everybody the, else does. Everybody okay. Else does. Yeah. And and we could describe accurately that that cuisine as just kind of all American. Yeah. Yeah. Burgers all, and fries and that kind of right, stuff. Right. Right. But but everybody Sandwiches has a, and stuff. Everybody has a different spin. Well, the reason I was going to go to Melinda's, they have a breakfast, and they're at the Vintage Pearl. They're they're down yeah. on Gazy Poe Road. 
yeah. which is going to become a very popular road, I suspect, pretty soon uh, with the Gazy Poe Gate there. But uh, they also, I think the secret at Melinda's, they've got great lunch fare. I think the secret there is that on Friday nights, they're usually closed, but they have like a by reservation only RSVP kind of thing. And it is the best meal of the week. It's fantastic. So you can get it to go. See, I haven't can, been to come, I haven't done yeah, that, but I'm wanting yeah. to. We, we, we were there. Uh, we had the uh, filet Now they do. They, she still does. This is Daniel Alana Owen. So they still do. They still do a considerable takeout. Mm-hmm. I mean, like supper stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah, you're yeah, busy. Yeah. You don't have time to cook. I mean, it's yeah, some of that stuff's. It's fantastic. It, it, pretty I, stinking I would, awesome. I would consider it the grab and go type thing, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Right. So coming a little closer to home from there, they're the Deborah's food. Well, speaking right of the foodies, home. if you're if you're a foodie and you're not impressed with Melinda's, then you're not going to be impressed. Tell you what, we we probably need to finish a conversation. If if you go to a Friday night uh, RSVP, uh, and we're talking dining, how many people are there? You know what? They they have it set so that they're you know there's not that many. It's seats. a limited number, right? But the but you rotate in and out. You have the seven o'clock seating, or you have the seven thirty oh, seating, okay. or whatever. I didn't know that. Uh, so there may in the course of the evening there may be a hundred, maybe you know, eighty to a hundred oh, okay. or something like okay. that. Okay. See, I didn't know but, that it was a schedule like that. Oh, it's a it's like a fine, I guess, French yeah. restaurant kind of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really yeah. good. It's so did you, the, did you feel like you were among the rich and famous when you well, were Well, no, that? I felt like I was among the, <laughs> uh, how about just the, the, I was among the famous because when I walked in, people went, oh, Dennis, how's that show going? Yeah. Dennis, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah, you tell me that oh, I, no, I, I, clamoring I, for autographs and all yeah, that. Yeah, no, stuff. we had we had a couple <laughs> in the corner and they were from Omaha and their son listens all the time from from Central Arkansas, Central Texas. And they're sitting here talking and we're just talking back and forth and I didn't think anything and they're kind of you know, trying know, to take a they? picture. They're taking pictures. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. me. Listen, it's a sixty-year-old guy with not a lot of hair. Come on over, yeah. we can talk. Really, I, well, you I, had your sharp, you had your sharpie on you, didn't you? I, no, I, I, oh yeah, because I was ready to sign. I was ready I'm to buy, sign. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you a box of sharpies. I'll go to say, I'll go to Sam's this week and get you a box of black sharpies. <laughs> there was an carry. article. There was an article on uh, NPR not long ago. It's, hell, it's been ten years ago. But uh, it was a guy that was a minor character on Friends, and he had a reoccurring account. Yeah. Right. And, he, and he was, uh, I'm getting a, some degree of fame. This is really, I like this. This is working good, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and he's at dinner one night and the guy kind of keeps looking at him, keeps looking at him, keeps looking at him. And, and he brings him and his prom date over, you know. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and he's like, well, yeah, sure. And he, he does a date with the, he does a picture with the prom date and a picture with him, picture them both together, you know. And, and the kid holds up the camera. And he said, I don't know who you are. I just wanted you to take a picture of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's right. never it's never quite like you think fame is. <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah, you're not you're, as famous as you think you are. You could think you're really famous, but no, they just needed somebody to take a picture. They didn't yeah. need you to be yeah. in it, you know. He right. said all the time I was taking these selfies with him, this kid had the weirdest look on his face. <laughs> right. Like why is this why is this guy in all of our pictures? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well and, and I, I I digress, but we when we come from Melinda's and we can, which is as a one fine dining, seriously. Yep. That's wonderful, yep. wonderful. Uh, but then you get to, uh, and they have still have breakfast burritos and and yeah. and uh, uh, cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. Uh, but when you get to, uh, and I'm trying not to forget anybody, but there is a Deborah's food truck right across from the Walmart. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if yeah. you knew that. So I did know that. Pretty good food there. I have never imbibed. I usually go to the Deborah's over here by us, but I haven't been there. Uh, coming up the hill. Uh, like I, I, somebody's gonna, they're right. Was at the top of the hill is Charlie's, uh, Charlie's okay. uh, Pizza, and I can go ahead and disclose Charlie's has changed hands. It is in the m- midst of changing hands. Okay. Uh, and so I, See, I'm I not was, familiar with them. Yeah. Well, I was a little. I premature. mean, I know they're there, but I haven't. Well, been so give, for everybody, a little background here, real quick. Charlie, real name is Charlotte. Uh, Charlie married Jensen of Jensen Tire. Okay. okay. So okay. it's, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's Charlotte Ellison, Ellison Jensen. So Ellison is from the Ellisons that built our friend, Mr. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 The, the, the Mouton. 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 Yeah. He was a famous builder. 
So the okay. Ellison family, and there's Ellison Road. Just well, I started to say, I've heard that name. I've heard yeah, yeah, Gerald well, Ellison. There's two or three brothers, and then there's Charlotte, and which is Charlie, and she has okay. the pizza restaurant there. Well, too bad they're not ambitious. They don't have enough drive. To exactly. They just need, the to, they need to take over yeah. and do more. Too bad they can't accomplish anything. They should life. leave the house more, Randy. <laughs> yeah, they should leave yeah. the house more. Uh, but <clears throat> no, she she's selling that. Business so she was the original age. owner of that. Mm-hmm. And she's had okay. that twenty five years or something. Oh, okay. And great, great pizza. Seriously, great okay. pizza. Okay. Uh, then a little further up the hill, the the Shell station at the top of the hill would tell you they would like to be included, and they do have pretty good fare. It's it's fried fare, but it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Obviously, the Walm the uh, McDonald's right behind that. But um. Amore Pizza. Have you ever been there? No, but I I keep seeing the pictures and it and seems it's like a die I, for, yeah. It seems like I should be I should try that. You no, know, so the people that owned that, there was an Italian restaurant there for a while and and then Danny Goins had Krakus, which I loved there. Uh but And before uh, you even get to the Walmart, there's the, there's this bait shop that has a pretty profane clever name that supposedly has food fair too. They have food? <laughs> I've never been in. Are they really? Oh, I've heard they do. Yeah, they've got signs out that say the they Master do. I, I, Fisher's place, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It ain't for lack of clever names. That's no. For sure. It's a place. It's a place that my grandsons kind of chuckle about. You know, when I told, <laughs> I, told I, I told them about it. But okay, so keep going. So we're up so to McDonald's and Amore Pizza and Amore so Pizza. Now, Amore what's the background pizza? on Amore Pizza? Is well, Amore Pizza is owned know? by the same folks that own uh, De, uh, Living. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, well, you the, know better than me. Uh, what I is know the, the Italian, the, the living the good life, De Volce, De Volce or whatever? Now, uh, the is, one this, behind is the Catholic that church? Yeah, okay. They, they, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm blank on that right now. Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. that what we'll I'm sorry? Li- we'll put links into it. I don't remember. Yeah. Then uh, there's uh, obviously the subway, so it's which, Italian fair. So and Italian that's inside the, that's inside the village. Amore Pizza is just outside the West Gate. Exactly, and okay. right there beside that is Subway, which is surprisingly good for a little chain. Oh, oh crap! Right beside there is the uh, what's the uh, the Sand Trap? Sand Trap. The Sand Trap's right. Sand there. Trap. I've had their burgers. I thought they were good. Not not remarkable, but good. Yeah, uh, they usually yeah. have some pretty good music there. Um, let's go on up past the gate. We oh come on. You, you cannot pass the gate without talking about Eddie's. I, I say Eddie's. Village Hibachi. Village oh, yeah, Hibachi. Yeah. What's your That's read on that? I like it. I like it. It's, Are you it's, a sushi I, guy? Oh, I'm not so not a sushi guy. Yeah? But the hibachi? But I'm a bachi, a bachi guy I am. But I know you, yeah, it's it's one of your favorite places. It really is. If, if we're not getting sushi, we're getting hibachi. If we're not getting sushi, we're getting... Uh, what's the, uh, well, there's another kind of sushi. The, uh, now did your wife convert you to sushi or did you convert her to sushi? You know, <clears throat> or did I you actually, both like it? Uh, before she moved here, she really didn't know much about sushi at all. And what we did was, is that we, uh, uh, went in and we started ordering the shrimp and chicken hibachi, which it basically, it's a lot like a Benihana, but without the show and about a third yeah. of the price. Right. Uh, fantastic food, but we because we're sharing it, you know, we're not going to each yeah. get an entree or whatever. Right. Y'all uh, are that old people. We're uh, that old people yeah. thing. And that yeah. we're cheap, too. So there's a yeah, exact exactly. factor. Yeah. How'd, you make, how'd you make your millions, Dennis? I, I, we ate it. We didn't eat out much. We ate cheap. Yeah. You know? We saved it one dollar at a time. <laughs> exactly. By ordering water. <laughs> Not not that fancy tea. That's yeah. way too expensive. Yeah, exactly. Way too expensive. That's what my son does. Water. I'll have water. Water. Yeah, and he's not yeah. making anything inspecting no, homes. No, 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 broke. Yeah. No, that's two but, fifty you can save or three fifty. <laughs> well, in some cases four fifty. Well, in some cases. It has well, gotten high. A village hibachi actually uh it's a it's hibachi and sushi. And we started yeah. just kind of exploring into the sushi stuff. It's fresh. It's good. It's really, really yeah. great. The the okay. guy that that makes it is really wonderful. Right there beside Kelsey's furniture. I might would eat it if you paid me, but you got to keep in mind I did work for a Japanese company for a number of years, and I had to eat it. I you know every business meeting we ate. Oh it really? Like, oh yeah, yeah. I well, worked for Mitsubishi for a few years, and I'm like Jeff okay, said, I'm you, out. Jeff Adkins, our our partner here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Jeff said that uh, when he went troublemaker. to you know, a troublemaker when he went to <laughs> Hong Kong and Singapore. That he thought, quote, a big boy, a, a fat boy was going to starve <laughs> with sushi until he figured out, you're one word in this one, what tempura was. 
well better fried uh-huh then all of a yeah. sudden he was much more into sushi yeah, exactly. or whatever yeah i'll take that sushi better fry that up my <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that's could, village hibachi. Could you chicken fry that sushi, please? Yeah, and they've been there how long? Oh, geez, probably six got... or seven years. There was a okay. there was a yogurt place there before that was super sweet, and they were great. But it, it takes a lot of yogurt to you know yeah, in the village. Yeah, you know, it's kind volume. of a seasonal. Yeah, yeah. Village hibachi is a popular place. It's a happening place. It is. And around oh. village hibachi in that same area, and this is where. This is where true value is. And mm-hmm. is the post Dimension office. Burgers, Dimension Burgers, brand new. Jeff and brand I knew this last week. And it's kind of, kind of a Star Wars theme. It's kind of a smaller seating area, but it's the yep. Stancils, you know, Joseph yep. and, and his wife. Yep. Uh, and it, I had heard Same people, people that say, do wingers, which is it, right around the corner. Right, right, right. Well, here I'll tell you the rest of that story. Um, I thought it was one of the better burgers I'd ever had. And I had a lot of people rave about how just a fantastic burger. Now, if a lot of people in the South, I should say, are much on quantity, you know, it's, it's a big, huge burger and it was delicious yeah. and whatever. Yeah. No, this was a reasonable sized burger, but it was just very, I had the, uh, oh, what was it? The Hawaii. Do they all burger. have Star Wars names? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 of course, Jeff you had, had the Yoda the, burger. Jeff had the Spock. <laughs> the what? The Spock. You know, oh, live Spock. long and prosper. Yeah, the oh, Spock. Okay, so it's not just Star Wars because no, that's I had Trek. The, yeah, it's a space uh, well, a spy okay. uh, I had Dang the yeah. uh, quasar, which was basically a hamburger with pineapple on it, which was delicious. Oh, okay. And I walked into the back to go to the restroom, and there's a little dining area back behind there. Okay. And then I looked, and there's a little hall that goes right over into Wingers. Oh, so they're joined. See, I had no idea. I didn't. And so either. there's a little L back behind there. So for those of us okay. that had complained before, not a lot of dining space. Uh, they they join right through the back, and there's actually dining, common dining. To you can come from dimensions. Okay, or from so you order either one. Either one. Okay, <clears throat> cool. <Yeah. clears throat> Excuse me. Because Wingers obviously really doesn't have burgers. No, they don't have burgers, but they do have a uh, great uh, chicken. I, I was kind of indifferent on the chicken myself. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm looking guy? for. I'm um, chicken. I'm somehow more of a Popeyes guy. Maybe it's more batter or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but they had great spicy, mashed potatoes. Like yeah, yeah like space, Popeyes. yeah. And yeah. as uh, uh, just from there, you have the Sonic right outside there, which is, you know, yep. good, dependable, yeah. solid food. Exactly. You know uh, what you're going to get? Not exactly health food, but yeah, there's that. Comfort food. Comfort food. And speaking of comfort food, what's north good of shakes, that, my friend? Uh, what's, uh, well, you know, you got Joey. I mean. Well, no, no. Home plate before you get to Joey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the home plate. Oh, that's had, right. I forgot we're traveling geographically. Yeah, they've kind of. Yeah. I personally think they have had a menu remake. And and look, let's just straight talk here, okay? These are opinions. Remember, I'm not going to offend yeah. anybody. Yeah. And these are just yeah. opinions. Well, yeah, you are. But uh, maybe. But uh, in the times past, home plate, a lot of its of its clientele, which was about all they could handle, but a lot of the clientele wanted something that wasn't too spicy. Not too yeah. salty. Da, right. da, 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 da. So you end up kind of getting this, and I'm not being derogatory, cafeteria yeah. food. Right, bland. Well, the a little new more owners, bland. Than... The, yeah, bland. The, the new owners yeah. have kind of gone away from that, and they're right. not afraid to kind of spice it up some. And to yeah. me, I like that. I don't I don't need bland food, or I don't need low salt. Yeah, I agree. So have you been there since the new folks have had it, what, oh, last yeah. year or so? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. What were your thoughts? I like it. I like it. Yeah, I liked it fine. Be, I liked it fine before, and... Hey, the previous owners, great friends of the show. Great we, folks. We, we love them, even though they did completely abandon the entire state and the village, and that's fine. They can go down to the beach in Florida, and they can enjoy their life, and we wish them well. No, I like hold it. it against them, and if they I, have a no, spare room like on the it. weekends. Now, yeah. have they gotten their bakery open? Yes, yes, just recently in the last few days, yeah, because we went by, and they had just opened up the bakery and got that going, which I thought Cause was these, kind of cause a- these, Because these new owners, they had a Back, a background in bakery, as I recall. Oh, they had one down at uh, the Central Somewhere. City. They had one Central City in Hot Springs. We're going to have them on the show. I have talked to them before. We just, I don't know. We just haven't, uh, we just haven't been reading the tea leaves. Got all right connected. Time. No, but yeah, I, think yeah, yeah. I think they've improved it. I think they've got great food. Uh, they've got a wider variety. They went to handheld checkout computers. Uh, the yeah, well, I love that. Yeah, I was kind of impressed. Love, it, they've really upgraded the technology, you know. 
Yeah. Then, no, their service then, is really good and the food's good and uh, it's always packed. Every time it I is. go, it's crowded. Yeah. And it's, well, it's a great meeting place too. Cause a lot of people, yeah. you know, where do you want to get 20 friends together? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I like well, it. and you could get 20 friends together if they wanted a big boy sandwich. Now, where could I get a sandwich, Randy? Yeah, well, it, it, the only place to get a big boy sandwich is is Joey's Clampets. It's now. Yeah. I've not had a big boy sandwich. I have their barbecue. Oh, chicken. honey, hush! What are you doing? Well, tell me. I, maybe I'm not oh, that big a boy. All I, it's all I get. Oh, I, you're a big enough boy for a big boy sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it? What's it like? Plenty of uh, meat, right? Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> it's you know, I mean, I get I get chopped brisket. Rhonda prefers sliced. Mm -hmm. But oh yeah, it's you know, I mean, how much meat can you put between? Well, two pieces of bread. That's not a hypothetical question for Joey. He will tell no, you how much. No, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah it's well, it's a lot. So no, for, the sides are good, and just I mean, it, if you don't want to spend money, just don't get up from the table and go look around. And that's all <laughs> I got to tell you. Well, their get and go is fantastic. We could eat there for weeks from the get and go because they have yeah. huge first cases. But I was yeah. going to tell you, just throw one other out too. Uh, and they have chicken spaghetti and other things already pre-made. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, right. Uh, and I think the prices are fair. I mean, it's really they good, are. but it, it's pre-made. You know, you just yeah, eat it up. Are. And it's good restaurant, great yeah. food. It's all we're, fresh. We're about to have Christmas. I know that when the show comes out, it'll be way past yeah. and all that. But yeah. We're yeah, about we'll to have Christmas it. this coming Saturday at our house. And to for Christmas, I'm going to drive down to Joey's and pick up my three pounds of pork and my two pounds of, of brisket, chopped brisket. And uh, we're going to get buns and barbecue, uh, baked, barbecue uh, baked beans, and that will be how we're feeding our Christmas crowd. Well, that's and, awesome. I was wondering what we were going to have. Yeah, well, come on by. <laughs> no, no, you won't have enough for me. Yeah, yeah, had, yeah. We that probably, was only five pounds of meat that you I ate. Heard. That big an old boy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Care. I'm not. I'm not. That's no, awesome. but they they do a lot of catering, and I think Joey really excels in that area. He does a lot of bulk stuff, and they've got man, they've got a meat case back there that's to die for. Yeah, well, and they you know they'll take your venison and prep that stuff up for you. That's and right, all they're that, a deer processing they, they, center. They do all that kind of stuff, which is way above my knowledge base. I know yeah. I'm not a hunter, so I don't know any of that. Well, they did I just that. say that? Did I yeah, just say did. that on yeah, an Arkansas okay. podcast okay. that I'm not? You know, I, I haven't. Been opening in day years. is a national, not a It's a state holiday, <clears throat> a, a state week, basically. Yeah, it's um, unbelievable. I kind of like it. I'm not a hunter, but I was kind of fascinated by it. You know, opening day. I was like, oh no, we're, I'm not available. You know, it's the like, funny thing minute, is, what what is it? It's, it's probably day. you probably have more people participate in the opening day of hunting season than you do opening day of Oakland. More than likely. Oh, come on. It's statewide. It has it to be. Yeah, it has yeah, to be. Yeah. Now, it's a big deal in Texas. So, But, yeah, Joey's is, yeah, Joey's has got it going on. Mm -hmm. No and question. Do, There's a the whole way, lot going on there. For, for what it's worth, Diane and I left the house here last Saturday morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, going out to, to run some errands, and we got maybe a quarter mile down the road until a, a six-point buck that was extremely healthy left the lake and started going up toward Jeff's. And I'm like, does everybody have that in their community too? Is that your neighborhood? Yeah. 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 I don't think everybody's got that. I think you, Oh do. yeah. We got deer. Yeah. yeah. We got them over here, but not everybody listening to this show has got them. That's for, that's sure. for sure. Okay. Yeah. So, we, so that's all this, outside. That's all outside the gate. That's mm -hmm. all outside the West gate. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go next? You want to go outside the East gate? No, no, no. There I want to just start driving through okay. and we'll go up to the West end if All we right. can. So Keep we're going gonna, to be at the first uh, golf course, which is the DeSoto and yep. the DeSoto club uh, designed by the Frank Lloyd Wright student. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. Can't help uh, he has the divine studio in, in, uh, in Fedville. Anyway, it'll come Google to me. It. Uh, but basically, uh, it's a it's a very uh, uh, not Art Deco, but uh, very mid century type style. Okay. Very Frank Lloyd Wright, very craftsman yep. style. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful building overlooking the putting greens, overlooking the the tee box of number one. Uh, we've been out there, had some outside dining before. Uh, they have a lunch buffet. They got a lunch potato bar and salad. Yeah. Sounds, I'm beginning. Did to you wear your old DeSoto Club blazer? I should have worn my old DeSoto coat that, that Mr. Hale gave me. No, yeah, no, it's yeah. in the closet. I'm not getting rid of it, but I didn't wear yeah. it. 
Yeah. Uh, but Monday through Friday and Saturday, and then and I think Sunday is a brunch they have, but they have a really fine dining menu in the evenings. Now, remember, there's two really premium dining places in in Hot Springs, uh, okay. and one is 501 Prime. Okay. Uh, and that's by, run, run by Matt and his people. Sounds like and a steak place. It, it is. It is mostly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, there's the vault, which is an old refabbed bank building just off of okay. Bathhouse Row, right beside the. Yeah. Okay. They Bath both House sound show. high end. Mm-hmm. And very nice. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, nitrogen made drinks and chilled drinks and that kind of thing. Well, the guys that own 501 Pro. Well, they let you in those places? Uh, the, you know what? I go up to upstairs. <laughs> Do you have to I call ahead? Around the, well, I, I've got my Sharpie with me. <laughs> warn, warn them that you're coming. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Diane and I had been telling ourselves we wanted to eat at the vault. And we've still not been to 501 Prime, and, and they're actually yeah. one of our customers. Yeah, you're saving uh, your money. Yeah, well, we went upstairs to the <laughs> vault and had a couple of drinks. They had a drink, Randy, that they uh, they they charred some oak, put my cup on top of it, had the oak uh, smell go up inside the cup, and then poured the drink in it. And so when you go to drink it, it smells like you're at a campfire. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, it's interesting. It's pretty. Look fun, at but... you, and I'm sitting here drinking unsweet iced tea <laughs> <laughs> with, with but, pink cancer causing sugar that you it. didn't call it pay two fifty four. Well, I'm willing to pay two fifty for it. But <laughs> something tells me theirs is more. <laughs> maybe, maybe no. But we went upstairs Probably to the stronger. vault and had some some appetizers and things. It was really okay. good. But yeah. the five hundred one Prime guys are the same people that run the Desoto Club. Oh, okay. So it's a it's Didn't a know that. it's a kind of a well old machine. Uh, some people will complain that they'll say, "Well, we're closed this this week because we didn't have blah." And right. That, you know, there's always going to be that. That yeah. happens. You know. Well, that's the new world that we live in. It seems to be, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is the yeah. new world we live in. So that is the uh, DeSoto. Okay, so DeSoto Club, you would you would f- put that as fine dining inside the village? I think it's it's fine dining. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I would say so. Okay. And I think it's fine dining. It's more casual during at lunch, but it's more casual fine at night. Okay. Uh, but it's a great, great space. It's just a beautiful building. Um, See, I've for, never been. Really? Well, yeah, no, we have. Yeah. I took you there. We went. We ate out on the back patio. You did. We went out on the no, back patio. We've been on so many back patios. I don't know. People came up and talked to us while we were there. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, should have brought so your sharpie. Good. Yeah, I should have brought my sharpie. Well, coming. I back, probably didn't have my beanie on, so they didn't have a clue. They didn't recognize you. They didn't no, they all you. know you, which is fine. Let's keep. Well, it. Uh, unfortunately, Let's I know my voice way. too, but yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> as we come from there, we come back this way. We come back east, and the next one we'll run into is at the bottom of Calella and DeSoto, <laughs> which is Deborah's. Now, Deborah's is just good home country cooking, and it's a, it's a you'll see a lot of guys there for lunch. A lot of blue collar guys. A lot of just. You know, uh, you get yeah. the two two meat plate or the three meat plate, and you get. Now, two have we sides passed and... the newly reopened under new management Mexican food place yet? No, no, no. That's at the okay. Far we're East not. End. We're not there. Oh, no. oh, 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 we missed. We missed El Jim's. Yeah, yeah. We missed El Jim's. Well, I, I'm I'm <clears throat> just making sure because I don't know. I mean, no, 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 I, no, no. You're exactly. I've only right. been acquainted with the village five years, so so I'm the, still learning my way around. It's the same name. It's the same name, but. That's about it. And I don't mean that derogatory in any way. Yeah. Anna, Anna and um, her husband, whose name will come to me, who are yeah. now at Granada Mexican Grill. He goes by Eastern. Anna's husband. Yeah. He goes by Anna's husband. A-A-H. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but um, uh, they were primarily in charge and running El Jim's. They left and went and did uh, the Granada Mexican Grill. And the fine folks that own Diablos in Hot Springs took over El Jim's. Okay. So you had mentioned before we hit the record button about tamales, which is El Jimador, but the Jimador, El Jimador's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, no, we ate there yesterday. It was and, good. Well, Rhonda and, and got tamale. She's a absolute tamale addict, and she said <clears> they were <throat> awesome. They were awesome. I, I asked them specifically if they were owned by Diablos, and they say yes. Which Diablos is. Like on one of the main corners downtown, it's right across from the visitor center at the at the okay. At the, you know, so at, at, in Hot Springs, in Hot Springs, and Diablos okay. is really great. And I asked him, I said, "Are y'all owned by the same people?" They said, "Yeah." I said, "Do you do the tamale bites, which is like a little appetizer deal that they yeah. drizzle with?" Oh man, it's to, and it's to die for. It really is. Yeah. So and when you said that that Rhonda got that, I'm like, I bet, and it's wonderful. It's really yeah. wonderful. Yeah, she got the full tamale, uh, but she everything didn't get the else bites. there. 
Yeah, everything else there was really good. What else did you you said that tell the cilantro story? I had no idea. Fourteen percent. Yeah. Well, the last time I looked, fourteen percent of the population cilantro for fourteen percent of us tastes like soap. Soap, just like you licked a bar of soap. Yeah, it tastes well. You know, really? I mean, have you ever you ever tasted soap? I've tasted soap. It tastes like soap. Yeah, it tastes like soap. Yeah, it tastes like soap. And so I've had, of course, coming from Texas. Tex-Mex is a huge thing. Cilantro is a huge <clears> thing. <throat> and I just, I, I can't eat it. It's, I'm not, you just give me a bar of ivory and I'd be good to go. Um, the problem is you can't, it's hard to get it out of your, it's just so hard to get it out of your mouth. Brush your, t- your mouth. Yeah. Your so, you know, I dip a chip in and it's <laughs> full of cilantro, which again, what is it? 86% of the people love mm-hmm. it. Um, and I'm like, yeah, okay. To me, so it tastes I'll, fresh I'll, and minty. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, yeah. I, so all I could taste was soap after that. You know, it was just one bite, but that's all it takes. But so, so your meal anyway. wasn't really that great because all you could taste was the soap, right? Well, I don't know. It might have been <laughs> fine. It might, it might, it might, it might have. I ate it all. So it was <clears> terrific. <throat> it was terrific. But Somehow, yeah, there's a few of us that have that malady, and I'm one of them. Really? And you and Rhonda mm-hmm. both too, right? Yeah. Now it didn't affect her like it did me though, but she does have the same condition. So it's genetic. I'm have to look this up. That's, that's it's genetic. Yeah, Google it. It's a it's a thing. But no, we we liked it. It was. Now I will tell you, I had one difficulty. I couldn't find the door. There's a, there's so many doors to this place, and there's one door that has a handle. I pull on it. It mm-hmm. didn't open. Mm-mm. And it's like two o'clock, and I'm like, well, they can't. I mean, it's like two two thirty, and I see there's all these people in there, and there's here's the TV. And so we're walking, we walk down to the other end and it's like, use the other door. And so I'm like, well, there, this is the only door. So use the get, other, other door. So I get in the car, get in the car. I think, well, <laughs> private party or something. I'm telling on myself, true story. So I get in the car and I'm like, well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to go some other place. And then some guy walks out and says, well, he just left. And I said, well, so after he left, the door closed. I said, well, get out and see if you can get in there. So she did. You had to pull hard. The oh, door, oh. oh, the door sticks like crazy. So your wife's stronger than you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, that's exactly what you're <laughs> hearing. So she pulled and got the door open and we went in and we ate. It was perfect. It was perfectly fine. But so if you do walk in, pull hard on the door. And it's not on the far right hand side like it used to no, be. It's right, the double doors are. It's, it's right, right in the middle. It's right in the middle, right in the center. And, uh, yeah, just pull hard on the door until they can maybe get that fixed. So and it kind of makes more sense with the door in the middle. For the weak among us that can't get the doors open. Well, let me let me tell the, the spring and summer and fall story for El Jimadors. And a Jimador, by the way, is somebody who goes and cuts the pod out of the agave plant so they can go and make tequila out of it. It's a big ball. And I'm talking an 80, well, 60, 80 pound ball. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it, it, Shel- <laughs> yeah. Sheldon Jr. here. Shel- yeah. No, a Himador, yeah. an El Himador, <clears throat> they wear leather, uh, uh, you know, pants, basically. They wore leather uh, 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 protectors, and they have okay. a shovel that's like a half moon, and it is sharp as a razor. And they they walk around with a file in their bath hand because they're going to file that, that thing the whole day. And they come up. And they, t- they start cutting the spines off of the huge agave plant, which looks like a big aloe plant. Yeah. And they cut all the spines off. And when they get through cutting the spines off, they have the ball. And then they, they cut the bottom of the ball with this really fancy half moon hoe that's razor sharp. And then they poke it and throw it in the truck. And these things will be 60 to 80 pounds. They take those and go and crush them up. And that's what they make. Uh, I'm, into, I'm into it now. Then they crush it up. The first refining is called Blanco because it's white tequila that you think of college kids having tequila. I never knew this until we went and learned. Then they have uh, Reposado. I started to say, you've obviously toured one of these. I've toured one of these. They have Reposado, which is a... You just went for the free samples. Exactly. Honey, get some more free samples. No, no, tell them it's in your name. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have the Reposado is kind of a lightly creamy looking color because it's only been in the barrels between 18 and 39 months, 35 months. Then if it's after that, it's añejo, which means aged, which means it's been in a cast barrel. So it's a lot like making a whiskey or a brandy or whatever. I had no idea. I just tequila. I just think about tequila and college kids throwing black shots back and whatever. And it, 
it could be paint thinner for all you know. This Inejo and the and the the uh, Reposado, they're a lot finer. I mean, it, they they have a different taste to them. It's really nice. I digress. There's well, your tequila lesson for the day. There you go. There yeah, because I know you're you'll be going yeah. down to the store. And oh, yeah. oh yeah. Never. Yeah, me, the, yeah. me the tea. Me the teetotaler. The teetotaler. So, okay. You, you, so you after 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 them, now are we to Deborah's or not? Now are we to Deborah? We are, and it's kind of it's kind of a combination of the blue class working lunch. Uh, they close about one forty five. They do breakfast and yeah. lunch. Uh, but it's it's just good comfort food, and they have kind of a it's a three meat or a two meat, and they'll have mashed potatoes and, and black. Big, uh, they do a big and, breakfast business. They do, a, and well, and once again, you'll hear people say and the they have they club, have. Speaking of big like big sandwich, they have a breakfast item called the mess. Oh, <laughs> they do. <laughs> it's kind of a scramble of everything, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and it is. It's a mess. What it, is it, it? Looks it looks. Is it rather, hash browns and eggs and bacon I and? It's, I don't know. It's got all. It, it, I mean, it looks. I've never ordered it. My wife has ordered it before, though. <laughs> no, are you serious? <laughs> so, yeah, she has. She didn't finish she it though, did she? She liked it. Yeah, she liked it. She probably took it to go box. Probably with her too, so. But yeah. Well, it's no, great it's food. oh yeah, and they're and they're always busy. Yeah, yeah, and of but, course, you being a celebrity, you always you like the back room. So uh, if you well, got a big gonna, group, they can accommodate a group in that back room. They've got a couple of back rooms, and they've actually, they've got more space than you think. You walk in there and you think, well, this is a nice little quaint place, and then it just well, there's an appendage, and there's an appendage, and there's an appendage, and it's like and there's a room off of a room off of a room, and there's <clears> a, right. I, I bet they got a hundred seats in there, and you walk in, yeah, and think, well, they yeah. can't have more than twenty. No, no, but it's yeah, it's a good it's a good place. Well, as we go from there, we're going to go turn north on Colella, and we're going to go up to Putters at the Cortez okay. uh, Club. Now, okay. Putters, the, the people that are managing Putters are also managing the Balboa Club right now. Okay. And that's, Have I been to Putters? Uh, I don't think I've been to Putters. I don't think you have. I don't think you have. I don't have. think it, I've been to Putters. It overlooks the 17th and 18th green of Cortez and a couple of ponds. Okay. It is to die for. It's absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it sounds I, like my kind of place already. Well, i tell you what. Just for atmosphere. Uh, and I've said this before, and I, I'd, I'd like to play more golf than I do. I haven't been in a few years, but uh, the the Easties, the people who live at, in what Stephanie Heffer calls Golfville, uh -huh. uh, the people who live in Golfville yeah. say that Cortez is the hidden gem. Oh, okay. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, number one, it is absolutely gorgeous. They cut down the 16th, Mr. Tom, that we interviewed. They cut down the 16th, and you're overlooking the flat side wilderness area. And it's these beautiful mountains in the distance. It's just, it's, it's literally classic. That said, it is a beautiful course, but it's rather hilly. It's got a funny challenge to it. If you're a really experienced golfer, it'll give you everything you can handle. If you're an amateur beginner, it's still a great course to play. I mean, there's huge creeks and and uh, and and waterways that you cross over. There's ponds everywhere. It um, it's one of those scenarios. I'll put it this way: it's one of those scenarios where if that land hadn't been used for a golf course, it would have been a waste because the yeah. terrain literally lent itself to a back nine, a front nine, a figure eight, the whole nine yards. Yeah, and that's so actually where Cooper where Cooper began <clears throat> doing the figure eights because at Desoto, it's not a figure eight. It's not a Back nine, front nine, did it. And Putters is over 17 and 18, you said? Mm -hmm. On the 18th, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and they actually have live music there. It's not that big a venue, but it's actually combined with the, as it is in many golf courses, it's actually combined with the pro shop. It's kind of part of the building is the pro shop and the restrooms. And the other now, the golf, the golf places, including Putters, would I be correct in assuming mostly lunch or? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. See, um, that's why I asked the stupid questions. Well, and let's, let's cut to the chase. One of the criteria when you uh, take a lease with one of the golf course uh, restaurants, one of the criteria is they want to make sure that you have something for the early morning golfers. Okay. Uh, you remember when Tanner's was outside the gate? I do. So Tanner's, you have to have a breakfast ish thing. Yeah, Danner's had a breakfast issue. They didn't want to have. They didn't want to provide breakfast for the people <clears> at Granada. Okay. Yeah. And understandable. But yep. you know, literally, they could have set out a basket of Danishes and a coffee pot, Called and most people day. would have been happy. You know, it yeah. just right. here, have have a Danish, take it with you. You know that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Anyway, they they wanted a bigger crowd. I understand the whole story. Sure. I digress. But Putters uh, is open from breakfast till probably about eight at night. There, pretty oh, okay. Now, now so let's let's deal. have a caveat. Let's have a huge caveat. I should have mentioned the whole time. 
nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, nearly 10 times out of 10, if the golf course is closed, the restaurant will be closed too. Well, makes sense. So, you know, Tuesdays, they may close DeSoto for aerating the soil where they go and just poke little holes and yeah, you know, yeah, work right, on the lawn. Right, well, right. the restaurant's going to be closed that day too. Duh, okay. Right. Is that, is that universally <clears throat> true? Nearly universally true. Okay. It's, it, okay. There will be exceptions. Somebody will call. Sure. Somebody will tell me. But as a yeah, rule, yeah. Yeah. that's the scenario. And you so can't if the golf course it. is closed, call ahead. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, and putters, how would you describe that cuisine? I would describe it as upscale burgers kind of thing. Okay. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay. Uh, they got a and great putters with a Z. Yeah, with a Z. P-U-T-T-Z-E-R. Yeah. And uh, really nice folks. Uh, it's funny. Uh, Diane and I were at Home Plate last week when I saw the the uh, the the uh, bakery open, yeah. and our waitress there was actually my waitress at Putters. So these oh, the, yeah. well, the 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 pool is only so big. People, That's right. You know, yeah. They're gonna have to work somewhere. Yeah. Did you sign any autographs there? Nobody even came up, Randy. I was so disappointed. Well, yeah. I, well, you need yeah, to start whatever. wearing your swag. <laughs> start wearing your cap, man. Okay, pull my cap out. I'm feeling lonely, honey. I'm going to pull out my cap today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need uh, some encouragement. Then, uh, then from there, this is the secret of the village, in my opinion. Okay. And, and, and they have, I've asked There's so them, many secrets. I've asked them four different times if they'll let me do a show with them. And they say, no, we don't want to be any bit busier. I think some of the very best food in the village is at Coronado Caddy, just down the street from you. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's I've been there. Fantastic, it is yeah. fantastic. Well, they are. I'll give them. I'll give them credit. They are. I mean, the times that I've been, they're yeah, they're they're busy. They're busy, busy, they're and this busy. is the it's small. Like, it's a nice problem to have. Listen, yeah, well, we, by any we definition, need, we do not need any more customers. <laughs> <laughs> you, pe you people quit coming. You yeah. people quit coming. Yeah. By any definition, it's the smallest golf course in the village. By any definition, it's the smallest in 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 uh, in yards on the golf course. Well, so it's what's the, going on there? Do you think? <clears throat> I mean, the food's call, plenty good. No, they call it the executive course. Uh, oh, okay. And, and so you can, you can play it pretty quickly. Is that what that means? You can mostly? play it pretty quickly. And typically it's a par three. And for those of you that aren't much on golf, it's a shorter course. Okay. Uh, it's still got plenty of challenge to it. It's got lots of rise and fall and, you yeah. know, it's still, it's a beautiful. Yeah, so you place. don't have to be Tiger or Charlie to no, drive the no, fairways. No, no, no. Well, okay. and, and if I'm not mistaken, Randy, I think we've actually used some of the aerial drone shots I did. There. Yeah, we did. Because we did. It's oh, it's pretty. Here it's very pretty. Balboa yeah. right beside it. So it's kind of like double yeah. 18s of golf within just a few yards. Yeah, of sandwiched between two lakes. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, it is real. <laughs> it's very real. One of my favorite places. And, and for, let's go back to, to, to uh, Coronado Caddy just for a minute. Yeah. Um, They've got dining on the porch and the back, the patio on the back. You have signed the autographs there. I've seen. I, we have, we have. Yes. And then we, and then I pretty haven't. good dining inside, but I I think for uh, for Coronado, it's surprisingly busier. I, I think as a lot of gentlemen get older, I mean we're talking eighties and nineties. You know you don't want to play. So there's two yeah. monsters in the in the village, and one of the monsters is Ponce, and the other is Balboa, and these are long, long, long courses, and they're, they're yeah. world class in that comparison. <sighs> If you don't want to try and do that, if you don't want to try and whack it 300 yards every time, right? Coronado is more your style and your speed. So it's got yeah. a lot of older guys there, but it's, it, once again, it's a very challenging yeah. play. It's, it's a lot of fun. Is, yeah, those are the John Daly courses. To You're play. right. Yeah. yeah, well, so does, right. does that include the loud shirt? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and the Funny. Out, outrageous behavior. How about that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then just to the east of that, one of our favorites, Balboa. Yeah. And I quoted this with Jeff, but he he corrected me. He said he wasn't the one that said this, but uh, somebody said. So you have to imagine uh, they passed they passed out uh, ashtrays, and the ashtray ended at Coronado. That was where the last golf course was for a long time. The middle eighties. That's that, that's where they said it ended. Uh, middle uh, early to middle eighties. And okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, because sure. we got to we got to illustrate this. So, oh, oh, you got the ashtray, yeah. don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you can. I'll make an edit right here. Oh, here, no, go ahead. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, so Dennis gave me, you, Dennis gifted me, he gifted me this. You tell me if you can see this. Oh, that if is I've cool. got it. Yeah, well, hang on, and, and hold it just steady, just another second. Right, uh, hold it up just a little higher. You're down near the Lake Coronado area, and just to the right, bottom right of that is, is the Coronado. And to the right of that, there's a sign that says, and you probably can't see it, but it says, proposed new golf course, Ponce de Leon, which it is not Ponce de Leon. It is Balboa. But hey, when you're well, building these things can... on the fly, right? Yeah, so this is the ashtray that he's talking about. Yeah, so this so ashtray, weird. I wonder what the date of this thing was. It doesn't have a date. It's got to it. be early to mid '80s in that ballpark. Clearly, before the village was fully developed. Clearly, but... well, that's before they bought the other fifteen, sixteen thousand acres. Yeah, that's yeah. said ashtray. So very cool, very cool. And how many times Thanks do you use that, that ashtray? I'm just curious. Uh, that ashtray contains four remotes at all times, <laughs> <laughs> so it's used every day. You know, if, if somebody from not for the, smoking purposes, but it's a great tray. It sits on the coffee table, holds and it remotes. Holds, it holds the uh, yeah, it holds four remotes. Nostalgically, holds four remotes. It does. It does. You know, I, I find it funny that thirty years ago people would have thought you have a remote control. No, we have three or four, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, back to Balboa. Balboa is a gorgeous, gorgeous clubhouse. And you have to remember that at the time. Yeah, that view's really bad, too. That's oh, awesome. it's, it's awful. It's a die for. Yeah. But you have to remember excellent. back in the day. Now, you remember you've, those of you that are regular watchers and listeners, you've seen me wear the, the uh, HSV POA jacket for the DeSoto Club. Because if you went to the DeSoto Club and you didn't have a jacket, they gave you a jacket. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of the same thing. It was a little later in time. But when you got to the Balboa Club, the upstairs was really, really nice. Great, stunning view out over the golf course. I mean, panoramic view, breathtaking. And they most times required that you had a tie on Friday night and ladies had dresses and slacks and all that kind of thing. Well, that's kind of gone yeah. to the wayside. Yeah. But the same people that run putters runs the restaurant downstairs. They, they can, they have the option for the upstairs. They don't use it right now. And the golf department has some of that space upstairs. But uh, downstairs, they've got Friday night karaoke. They've got, you know, just your basic bar so and go, bar food. Do you go do that? Do you go yeah. sign autographs after you sing? I hadn't been there. <laughs> I hadn't been there so long. I hadn't been there in so long. I used to go take me and the puppy when we would sit on the back patio. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's a. That's a, when the weather gets nicer, we're going to do that some more. It's just a fantastic. Oh, I'll bring the Sharpies. You're going to have to go sing. Oh, Yo, yeah, yeah. You'll need a Sharpie. I'll, I'll be the guy and have the Sharpie. No, I don't need a Sharpie. Yeah, no, you'll need a Sharpie. No. <laughs> uh, we move north and east a little, and we end up at the Ponce Golf Course. Okay. Which is, oh, come on, Dennis. It's I can't help you. Mulligans. Mulligans. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could you help you. You know what the you. term Mulligans means? Uh, it's not good. You don't okay, well, it's it, a do-over. Yeah, it's a do-over. If you mess okay. up, you get a mulligan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. the 19th hole. Yeah, well, that's I, probably why I like it a lot. Give me. I, I need a bunch of do-overs. <laughs> that view. That view is pretty. That view is pretty. I don't know. It, pine trees. Pine you're, trees abound right there. So well, you're looking down at the driving range and the first and the 18th. Tell me about the food because I know you've eaten there before. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I like it. So. We buy the house. My son, who's a home inspector, has his own company in DFW. So he comes, his only foray into the village. We get here early in the morning. He does his thing. Um, we boogie over to Mulligan's, and he orders, I don't know, whatever the biggest stinking burger that you can get. This thing was massive. And now he's he's eaten He's eating a lot of burgers in a lot of different places from California <laughs> to you name it. And he's like, that's as good a burger as I've ever had. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't remember the name of it. It was huge, though. Well, Diana, I don't know how many patties of meat it had on it, but no, I, 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 I like it. But listen, I'm again, I'm not a foodie, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to be critical, really, of anybody's food. Okay, cilantro that has its own thing. But, <laughs> man, I mean, that's the thing about, especially the places inside the village. Man, I mean, the... I don't know, just the vibe and the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. If you care at all about that, then, I mean, how do, I can't think of a place where you can go wrong. Well, let's talk about that real quick. And in particular at Mulligan's, because you picked a good point. You picked a good place. Mulligan's is a classic example of a place where you can go in 
and you kind of feel like you know everybody. You, you know a, a couple. You might know this. Yeah, well, that. you go in and you're afraid that they know you. That's <laughs> more the vibe that I get. It's like, I hope nobody here has a clue who I am. They don't, you don't know where I came from. Yeah, Dennis know. couldn't come in here. No. And be out of Sharpies in no too, time. Out of short and too loud, yeah. No, no it's, a, they, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good place, and uh, yeah, I, I like it. Well, they, like they have, Diane and I have the, uh, they have a sa great salad there and they have a great uh, chicken sandwich. Yeah. Uh, but that, man, it, it's just good food. It's just good yeah. food. And, yeah. and, and like you say, the view is to die for. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's, it's, it's quaint. It's cozy. It's not, you know, it's not a hundred seat. It's not a 50 seat kind of a place. So it's, and that maybe that's why I kind of like mm -hmm. it. You know, the yeah, introvert well, in me, it's like, okay, even if it's crowded, it's, it doesn't feel overwhelming, you know. There's probably there's probably forty seats outside and maybe twenty five seats inside. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, that's yeah. probably true. I've never eaten outside, but oh, been tempted a time or two. Yeah. Okay. Gary, guess what? Uh, come March, we will have a, a dinner on the back patio or break or lunch on the back patio. The roses are fantastic. They've got roses all the way around. Yeah, the place. they do. Oh, and they've got they've got canopies that shield the sun. It's really yeah, that's awesome. got live podcast written all over it. it well, does, all these places it? do. They've all got live podcast. Let's do a segue. Tell me about this live podcasting. What, what's yeah, this? I don't thing know. About? I don't know. But we're talking about it. We're thinking very seriously about it. We're not just thinking about it. We're planning mm -hmm. for it. We're, we're procuring equipment for. Well, for things. those of you that have never been to Hot Springs Village, or for those of you that have maybe vent been, you've you've stuck your toe in the water. Uh, Dennis and I are going to do increasingly more video and show some of these places off. And even if these are backdrops for conversations that we have with each other or with a guest, I mean, some of the backdrops, I mean, I'm thinking of some of the, all the places that we've had lunch out on decks of some of these restaurants. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if the camera view was just like what's behind you is infinitely better than what's behind me. But if that's all they got, that's worth the price of admission you know, right there. So yeah, any of these places, Mulligans would be a place yeah, I, I would get when the roses are in bloom and, mm -hmm. and the pines are looking well, good. And, well, I've actually, I've actually, uh, I did a show with David Drennan from, uh, unraveled. I did our second show with him from the Coronado yeah. with my cell phone, just holding up my cell phone. Yeah, yeah, and right. you can get a picture for what that's like, but yeah. we're, we're, we're going to expand on that. Don't you think? Yeah, no, we're going to up the quality. We're going to mm -hmm. up the quality of that for sure. Lord willing. So yeah, yeah. stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and listening to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast starring Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com.